uh, so data of uh, 30 bytes to be delivered center can send segment of maximum 12 bytes so that means the packet can be formed of maximum 12 bytes find the sequence number find the sequence number of last segment form if the sequence field uses 5 bits now in our original tcp uh, format we have 32 bits are actually given for the sequence number now this is something an imaginary situation where we need to calculate as per the conditions given so in the actual tcp format th sequence number is given 32 bits that means we can generate uh, 0 to somewhere 4 billion numbers can be generated out of these bits now here it is given 5 bits 5 bits means we can generate only 32 sequence numbers okay so that means you can have 0 to 31 possible cases are there now if you want to deliver 30 bytes so 30 bytes means uh, you will be sending uh, uh, the first 12 bytes then 12 bytes uh, so 24 and then 6 bytes so uh, here the sequence number will be 0 to 11 and then in the second uh, segment it will be 12 to 23 and then in the third segment it will be 24 to 29 so in in this question the third segment is this and the sequence number is the is the byte number of the of the uh, uh, is the first byte number so the first byte is 24 so the answer is 24 but let's say we can elaborate more let's say we need to deliver uh, 40 bytes of data to deliver 40 bytes of data then we will be delivering 12 uh, 24 36 and then 4 bytes so the first packet will contain 0 to 11 because each segment can contain only 12 bytes then uh, 12 to 23 but now you cannot simply send uh, 12 bytes here because we have sequence up to 31 only so you can send 24 to 31 which is uh, 8 bytes but we have to send 12 bytes in the segment so then you can send 0 to 3 se uh, se sequences you can use so uh, 4 bytes you can send using sequences 0 to 3 and then in the next packet onwards you will use a sequence number from 4 to 7 to send the remaining 4 bytes and the first sequence number is 4 for this packet so the answer is 4 if the total size of the data is 40 bytes but in our case because it is 30 and it's a straightforward because the entire data range is is within the total uh, range of the sequence field which is uh, 32 bytes actually uh, can be sent 32 bytes means 32 sequences each byte represent uh, represent one sequence so this is how we can calculate you have to always keep in mind that what is the range of the sequence field bits and accordingly we can generate the sequence numbers okay moving to the next question now 30 bytes to be delivered sender can send segment of 12 bytes then the next is the destination port address is corrupted which carries tcp segment the segment is destined for the address this so one packet to deliver to this address but by mistake by some corruption by some error it arrives to this destination then what will happen how the tcp will react to this action so the answer is when the tcp will uh, uh, get this packet it will apply the checksum and because the values got changed the checksum value will be changed and it will identify it, that packet is corrupted so it will discard the packet and will generate the icmp message and send it to the sender this is the action taken at the receiving tcp side then the next question is a client uses the udp to send a data to server the data length is 16 bytes calculate the efficiency of this transmission at the udp level and the efficiency means the ratio of the useful bytes to total bytes so so here data to be delivered is of 16 bytes and you must be knowing this is the header format of the udp so the udp header is 8 bytes 
So that means 24. So actually, if you want to send 16 bytes of data, you need to make a packet of 24 bytes. So efficiency, you can calculate by finding the ratio, the actual bytes to be delivered out of the total bytes required. So 16 by 24. So the efficiency can be two by three. This is the answer. Next. Now, this is uh, regarding the UDP packet. This packet has been delivered. And uh, so let us have a look on to the information about the UDP. Okay. So this is the UDP packet, which consists of uh, eight bytes. The first two bytes is for source port number, destination port number, total length and checksum. Now, looking to this uh, packet format, we have to apply, uh, um, we have to reply to these questions. So this is the uh, first field, second field, third field, fourth field. So what are the source port numbers? So source port number is the first field. So you have to look to this 0045. This is base 16. We have to convert to decimal. So this is uh, 0045. Base 16 is actually given to us. So we need to find out 4 into 16 plus 5 into 1. So this is how we can find out this is 69. Similarly, what is the destination port number? Destination port number is, can be find out by using the uh, next four bits. So here this is DS00. So when you convert uh, into decimal, we will get 57088. So we can kind of calculate using this kind of uh, calculation. So the answer will be 57088. Then what is the total length? Total length is the third field. Third field means this. So you have to, yeah, this is given 0058. This is uh, 5 into 16 plus 8 into 1. Okay, so this will give you 88. Then what is the length of the data? So total length is, uh, total length we have already known, which is uh, 88. And length of the data can be find out by subtracting the header part. So the total length is 88 and the header part is 8 bytes. So the data part is 80 bytes. Is the packet directed from client to server or a vice versa? So who actually delivered the packet? So here we can uh, answer to this question by looking to the source and destination information. Now, you must be knowing that these are the well-known port 01023 are the well-known port which is assigned to any server okay these are the established uh, this is the defined port numbers which are assigned to uh, server machines and uh, these are this range is the registered port number and after that from this to 65535 are the public port number so in general whenever we want to connect using the internet to any server to any application we are assigned one port number, which is actually in this range. So if any machine is assigning you the port number from this machine, that means you are a client machine. So if you look to this source port number 69, so the source means the sender and the destination is receiver. So that means it is uh, sent from server to client. So the if you look at that, how the communication is done. So it is done from a server machine to client machine because we have find out this information using the port number. What is the client process? So they are communicating using uh, the port number. So here the 69 will tell us that on which application they are actually interacting. So we have, these are the port number which are running uh, on a defined you know, application. So for uh, 69, this is a trivial FTP uh, application. So the client process TFTP. So these are the answers for these uh, small sub questions of this UDP packet. So I think these are the all questions which uh, I want to discuss with you.